I was commissioned by the German Embassy in Singapore to make a short film entitled Traces of the War. What happened at the Berlin Wall? What traces will I find 20 years later? Day 1, Berlin. Resting from the 12-hour plane ride, I have checked into an ultra-modern hotel in the former East Berlin. Just 20 years ago, a line separated this city and almost every family had a member living on the other side. As I walk along the historic streets near my hotel, I realize there has been so much documentation done about the Berlin Wall. What on earth can I bring to this old topic? Day 2, Berlin. Pastor Max Fischer shared openly about his experiences as pastor of a church near the wall. Former East Berliner I interviewed pointed out several times that there was nothing greatly wrong with East Berlin. Life, he said, was simple and not dramatic. I was somewhat surprised, but I believe him. Bicycle tour was an enjoyable experience. Bicycle tour guide talked about how the idea of the wall began. People were living in the East where things were cheaper under communist rule and working in the West because they were paid more under capitalism. According to him, the wall was built to prevent such envy and comparisons. An insecure but necessary idea if communism was to survive. But how can people be contained? Day 3. I realize I need more violence in my footage. I need more intensity. 13th August 1961. The first wall consists of soldiers standing with guns at the demarcation line between East and West Berlin. Barbed wire followed this. Then, steel reinforced concrete panels that became the final wall. During the construction of the wall, from 13th August to 18th December 1961, 268 soldiers escaped. They had been instructed to shoot at their fellow Germans. They refused to do so. I spoke to the guard tower guy, whose brother was the first to be shot to death at the wall. As he spoke to me, I could feel his sadness. He has fought hard to keep his brother's name alive. I thought about my home. I thought about what it means to fight for one's freedom. I thought about injustice and stupidity. Altogether, there were 172 people killed at the wall for trying to escape. Day 4, my bones ache, my mind tired. Listening to the stories of death has had a draining effect on me. I hear another horrific story about children who would fall into the river, parallel to the demarcation line, and drown. People from the west were not allowed to rescue them as the river belonged to the east. The kids would scream and drown in plain view of everyone. I met a lady from the former west today and she told a touching story and began to tear. I too felt teary-eyed. During the time of the war, people fought for freedom all over the world. In Hungary, Poland, Czechoslovakia, China. Sometimes you can't force it. Sometimes patience is important. But sometimes you have to act quickly and not let go until something happens. A German youth in 1988 painted on the wall, Berlin will be free. It was a prophecy that was fulfilled a year later. Day 5. Feeling exhausted. Tour of the Stasi Museum. Museum director spoke about freedom. Not a yes and no freedom, but the freedom to think for oneself. My questions to him come out sounding like a child's questions. Bicycle tour brought me to the most beautiful part of the wall I'd seen so far. Nestled by a cemetery, two remaining slabs, hidden from public view, covered with foliage. As I touch the slabs, I try to imagine the night the wall fell. On November 1989, East Berlin politician Gunter Schabowski announces free travel across the border. Thousands of people appear. The border guards are lost. The situation, unprecedented. After two hours of shouting, open the gate. 
the gods relent and history is made. East Berliners in the streets unite with their countrymen from the West. Nobody expects this to happen in their lifetime. Last day in Berlin. I realized this morning that I've always wanted to come to Berlin. I never expected to be able to see Berlin so extensively. A photographer who recorded all the wall graffiti said to me, the wall isn't gone when you bring away the visible things. The wall is of our education, our day-to-day -day life, our thinking. This deeper wall still exists. Many of the former East Berliners have difficulty adjusting to their new way of life. Some remain jobless, refusing or unable to fend for themselves. Twenty years later, when we remember the Berlin Wall, what do we celebrate? An idea? A concept? I celebrate the people who fought against intolerance, who believed in the power to change things, who never gave up hope. I pay tribute to those who were there. I remember the night when the wall came down, my, we were looking TV and uh, there were subtitles on the program, the wall is down, the wall is down. We, we changed to another channel, the wall is down, the wall is down. Then suddenly the, the program just cut it and on any, any channel was the same guy. Yeah, we are here in front of the wall, it's unbelievable, it came down, blah, 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 blah. My mother and me just sprang up, went down, no metro, no buses, nothing else was driving anymore, it was night time. And uh, we were just going on our feet to, to the direction of the next place to, to hit the wall. When I slept in the night, the telephone rings at one o'clock. One of my daughters called me. What do you do? You are sleeping. And in Berlin, the history is living. How can you sleep? And so I, I got up again and put over my coat over the pyjama and went to uh, the Brandenburg Gate. And I also climbed up on top of the wall and um, this was so fantastic and we would all say only one word, everybody. It was Wahnsinn, which means insane. Everybody said all the time, Wahnsinn, Wahnsinn. You remember? Wahnsinn, that was the word of, the, of that night. Everybody went, wow. Like this, yeah. crying and drinking champagne on the bottles and then kissing everybody. One, you know, that was a really great moment, a really crazy moment. An artist who was the first to paint at the wall said to me, It wasn't the politicians that brought down the wall, it was the people. They are the traces of the wall. And to them, I dedicate this film.